Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to p Band Vlogs. Today we're introducing episode 3 of our Comcast Cable Access Channel show. If you live in the McHenry County or Waukegan County, Illinois areas, we air on Comcast Cable Access Channel 17 every Friday at 10.30 p.m. Central Time. Set your DVRs and search Google TV. p Band Vlogs airs on Google TV. Channel 17, Comcast Cable Access Channel every Friday, 10.30 p.m. This week's episode on episode 3, I had this bright idea of getting this harmless little RC fan boat. I did a quick unboxing of that and then I sank it real quick and I almost killed myself getting it back. We get down to the mystery of the McDonald's hot mustard sauce and their Szechuan sauce and then from BAM's VHS vault I dig up an old videotape where the Platter Pirates did a showcase back in the 2000s at a Wisconsin b-boy event. P-BAM Vlogs is airing every Friday on Comcast Cable Access Channel 17 in the McHenry County and Waukegan, Illinois County area. Set your DVRs every Friday 10.30 p.m. Episode 3 is airing this week. We're always looking for good eating spots or any good retail spots to visit if you have any businesses or any locations you want us to check out and have them appear on p band vlogs on the youtube channel and on the comcast cable access channel for the McHenry county and the waukegan county areas definitely contact us on email youtube or facebook for any inquiries or questions make sure you set those dvrs make sure you subscribe to our channel we got daily uploads nightly streaming new reaction videos dj videos mixed downloads whole bunch of good stuff thanks for watching the video and we see you on the next video or stream later. Doing it right now. I'm panicking. I'm doing. No, 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 no. No. <laughs> why, why can't you think straight when you're like right in the moment? Can I take the stand and slam like Bam Bam? I was gonna get this little $50 RC speedboat that writes itself all the time. It looked real fun, fast, it's not gonna sink. When I usually go out, I usually go out by myself and I'm figuring like, how am I gonna film this thing? If it's too light, you can't put a GoPro on it and it's just gonna tip over anyways. And I won't be able to film it while I'm controlling the boat. But then I came across this, our local town, Ron's Hobby Shop, had these in stock. When I looked them up online on YouTube, I saw that, you know, they go about like 10 miles an hour. It's 18 inches long, seven and a half inches high. I thought maybe I could put a GoPro on it. It has the fans on the top, so there's less chance of it getting caught up on seaweed or lily pads or something. So it seems pretty fun, and you don't want to go like 30 miles an hour if you're trying to get footage anyway. So let's open this box up and see what's inside. This is the top of the box. This is what the box looks like. If you want full detailed specs, I'll have a link in the description at the bottom. Follow that link. Open this up. And we got instructions, battery, charger, 
One thing that sucks, it only comes with a car charger battery. You either have to get a new charger or a converter. I'm gonna look for this. I went to Home Depot today. No luck. Oh, oh, oh. Instructions for this controller. Let's get rid of this box. Wow. Uh, these run anywhere from 100 to 120 bucks. This goes up to like 10 miles an hour. The real enthusiast, people who actually build the boats, they said that this is actually really good for the money. It's made really well. So I don't know what those other people are talking about. Antenna part. And the straw. Okay, here's the compartment in the inside battery, the servo for turning, here's the back, here's the side, here's the bottom, so let's put some batteries in this thing, why I repeated myself, I don't know. Well, I don't know if you can tell in the back, there's the power, trims, and there's the light for the power. Top view of putting in the battery. Here, a beep when it turns on. Try to fit all this in here. Cool. There are two latches. You see those? They hook to the front here. And then there's these magnets that hold it together. Right here is the top part where it latches onto. Here's the magnets. Here are those latches. I'll put the antenna through here and then latch it to the front. Push it forward. And that should be on. There was no on button when I plugged in the battery. You might have heard a beep, but I guess it's on. Alright, let's check out the rudders again. That's cool. It's pretty responsive. I guess. It's still going. This is gonna be fun though. I'm gonna look up online if this is supposed to stay on like that. And I'm thinking the GoPro is going on this seat. I gotta move this antenna. So this is the Mini Alligator Tour RC boat by Aquacraft. It runs anywhere from 100 to 130 bucks. I've seen it for 110, I've seen it for 100. It comes with the boat, the car charger, and the battery. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next one. I'm happy. Cruiser, perfect for filming. This one's right on the spot. No. Ah! I can't all the current is. Oh, I got it now. I got it now. I'm calm. I'm calm. I'm calm. What am I doing now? <laughs> get out, get out. I why did I freak out? I thought that was the end. I can feel the night when I see the daylight. I should be alright.
wait it out. I know this one's actually kind of easy. Okay, now I gotta do this one for real. Oh, I just jumped right into that thing. Why? Interesting. <laughs> that almost fell. All right, let's get the boat. Whoa, 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 I almost fell in already. I don't know, I'm gonna get this out later. Whoa, 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 oh my god. Whoa, 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 oh my god. I think I'm falling in later. No. Crap. <laughs> there goes the GoPro again. How am I supposed to get that now? Great. <sighs> this will be interesting. Where is it? It'll still be up there. Man, I gotta find out where to f get to the boat. Oh man, this is gonna suck. There better be a path over here. Somewhere. This is gonna suck. I just need to get to the other side. Do, 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 do. Gotta backtrack now. Dude, this is flooding everywhere over here. Why did I come out here? <laughs> I'm gonna be bitten up by so many bugs. Oh, there it goes. Ah, oh, cool. Now where can I catch that? Right here? No way! Whoa, can I get down there that way? Oh, this is crazy. Boat. Ah, oh, there it goes! Gotta go! Oh, it's floating down. You'll see it coming. <laughs> Now can I get to it is the problem. Whoa, it's wet over here. See the boat. There's the boat. We gotta find how to get to it. It's gonna go away. It. <laughs> I'm gonna lose this boat. Oh, this could be lucky. If I don't fall in, holy crap. Oh, that tree's gonna get in the way. Look at this. <laughs> for this boat. I'm gonna wait for it. I have no choice. Ah! I can't, all this current is a lot. Come on, no, no, come on. Oh my goodness, please get stuck over there. Yes. <sighs> this is nuts. Ah, oh, there it is. How am I gonna get this? I don't know. Look, there it is. Huh. Let's see if that's stable. No. Wow. Whoa. I'm gonna go grab that. Holy crap. <laughs> 
Thank you, tree. We need to just do this quick. Whoa. No way. I got it. No way. Oh, that was crazy. <laughs> I can't believe I got it. Yeah, and then it got stuck. I couldn't reach it. Yeah, I was so lucky. First it was stuck. The stream was so strong. I just it flipped it back and then it started pushing it down because I didn't know how to get to the other side. And then it got to this side. So I got real lucky. That is crazy. Sure, I have to dry out the GoPro, but it should be okay. I don't know if it has battery anymore. <laughs> Still works. <laughs> awesome. Still works. Wow. Cool, thanks dude. I appreciate it. Oh, that's elect the geo wheel uh, electric bike. It's an electric, so I don't really pedal. Oh man, this thing is drenched. <laughs> oh, it's not waterproof? It is, but I um I put a microphone in it sometimes and I, f I forgot to cover the hole. I didn't think I was gonna sink today, so. <laughs> Whenever you don't think you're gonna do something, something happens. Oh my God. Whoa, look at that. Yeah, it'll. I think it'll still work. I put it underwater before, and you know how you hear the thing where you put it in a bag of rice, like your phone or something? The rice you put in the bag, it absorbs the water. It happened to me like three weeks ago, and it worked. It, this is the same one, I think, so hopefully it'll still work. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's hilarious. Oh man, that was so much. I can't believe I got that back. I'm sweating. I am eaten up by mosquitoes. It's flooding everywhere around here. I'm gonna go home and check out the damage on everything. Why is it always the first time out with a drone or a boat? Someone crashes it or sinks it. <laughs> I'll see you back at home. Let's try this method of shooting on the ground. Oh, I got shot anyway. Oh, really? Why was that still going? What's going on guys? Welcome back to PBAM Vlogs and today we're doing another edition of BAM's VHS Vault where I dug up a tape from 2002 where me, Kiko, and Sprite were doing a showcase at a b-boy event in Milwaukee. Alright, back I would say this is a... Uh, I think this was around maybe the summer of 2002 or fall 2002. Milwaukee, Wisconsin. There's a b-boy event. I think Kiko and Sprite were judging a DJ battle. I film everything. And then at the end of the battle, we did a showcase together. We went back to back. It was Sprite, me, and Kiko. And we just did a bunch of routines. Kind of freestyled a little bit. It was pretty fun for what I can remember. So let's check out the routines and the stuff that we're doing in 2002. <laughs>
I totally wanted to quit. What's going on guys? Welcome back to P-Bam Vlogs. And today we're doing a how-to cooking video. Another edition of Bam Appetites because McDonald's hot mustard and Szechuan sauce is back. All right, the hot mustard sauce isn't back, but I think the Szechuan sauce came back in October. But anyways, the hot mustard sauce, the Szechuan sauce, the hot mustard sauce, those are my favorite McDonald's sauces of all time. When did Chicken McNuggets come out? In 1983, they had three different sauces, the sweet and sour, the barbecue, and the hot mustard. Those were the standards. The hot mustard came out in 1983, and they just discontinued it in 2015. I was completely heartbroken. I've always seen that people made it or had different recipes. I've been looking for the best recipe. I've been trying my own, mixing them together. And the Szechuan sauce, the internet brought it back, I believe, in 2006 when they came out that Mulyan cartoon with Disney. They did a promotion with McDonald's and they had the sauce from 1998 when the movie came out till about 2006 when their contract was up with Disney. Discontinued the sauce. Then recently the Rick and Morty cartoon spiked up its popularity again and they brought it back. But today we're going to make both sauces. Sauces, so you can have it at home. It can be perfect for the holidays. Perfect with that turkey. Perfect with any chicken. So let's just get right into it. Let's do my favorite, the hot mustard first. To make the McDonald's hot mustard, you're gonna need ground mustard, mustard powder, cayenne pepper, soy sauce, sugar, corn syrup, and vinegar. This is just real easy. All you have to do is mix it together in a bowl. So let's take a half cup of brown mustard. Then take your mustard powder, you need four teaspoons of mustard powder. Do a fourth teaspoon of cayenne pepper for that bite. One teaspoon of soy sauce. Optional one and a half teaspoons of sugar. I used brown sugar. Two tablespoons of corn syrup. And one and a half teaspoons of white vinegar. I'd go about maybe one teaspoon of vinegar about one to one and a half teaspoons of vinegar. Depends on how much tang you like. Just mix it all together, blend it all real well. Try to get all those lumps out from that mustard powder and you're pretty much ready to go. 
can't wait to taste it. Real quick, this book is pretty cool. My dad used to work for the McDonald's Corporation at the Oak Brook office. I have a whole bunch of employee stuff from there, from pins to different collabs with toy companies and Matchbox cars, Hot Wheels stuff, books like this. I'm not really into McDonald's, all for the food I do eat there from time to time. I'm more into their pop culture stuff, so I really like this book. This book's pretty cool. It's made really well, it's all color, it has a history of everything from McDonald's. But what's pretty cool in this book, besides all the history of all the food and everything, it has a pop-up of a Happy Meal box, which has a history of all the different Happy Meal toys and everything. But, no, uh, pretty cool book. But anyways, let's get on to that Szechuan sauce you guys are all crazy about. Alright, for that McDonald's Mulian Special Szechuan sauce, you're going to need four to six cloves of garlic minced, depending on the size of the cloves. I used about four, and I minced them myself. You're going to need two tablespoons of plum wine sauce. I just got plum sauce. I don't know if that's the same thing. I found it in our Asian section, not at a regular grocery store. I went to a Garden Fresh, a little bit more specialty store. You're going to need four tablespoons of balsamic vinegar, two tablespoons of brown sugar, or three parts brown sugar, one part white sugar, two and a half tablespoons of sriracha sauce, about a teaspoon of soy sauce, around a half teaspoon of red pepper flakes to taste, and around a pinch of ground ground ginger. I got ground paste. Alright, this one we're doing over the stove on a pan. We're doing this over a very low heat, a very low simmer. We do not want it to burn. We barely do even want it to bubble. First, I just sprayed it with some non-stick. Then, first thing we do is we take the garlic, take your four to six cloves of garlic minced, and throw it on the pan. And you just want to get them soft and warm and make them start to sweat or juice up a little bit. Once the garlic's nice and soft and they're sweating enough, Take your balsamic vinegar and add four tablespoons of balsamic vinegar. Keep everything moving, keep stirring it. Throw in a teaspoon of soy sauce. Take your plum wine sauce, two tablespoons, add that in there. Keep everything stirring, keep everything moving. Make sure it's mixed well. Keep it still at a low simmer. Don't burn it, don't bubble it, very low simmer. Now it's time to add the meat of the sauce. Add two and a half tablespoons of sriracha sauce. Mix it in there real well, it's pretty thick. So work it into the sauce real well. Mix it up well, mix it up really good. Now take your sugar I got brown sugar two tablespoons of brown sugar or you could do one part white sugar three parts brown sugar just do two tablespoons of sugar melt it caramelize it mix it up in there real well keep that heat real low sprinkle in those red pepper flakes around a fourth teaspoon to a half teaspoon then the last thing you guys the ginger just put a pinch of your ground ginger in there I have ginger paste so I just put a little pinch of that ginger in there mix it up all real good don't burn it Keep it at a low simmer, mix it for about a minute or two, turn off the heat, and you're done. Plate it up, let it cool off for about 5-10 minutes if it's straight from the stove, just serve and eat. Alright, so here's the sauces I made. The McDonald's Szechuan Sauce, Million Special, and the original McDonald's Hot Mustard, my favorite. So let's try them out. There's only one way you could try these out, it's <laughs> with McNuggets. We'll go with the Szechuan sauce first, see how well I did with that one. Oh yeah, that's perfect. Spice from that red pepper flake, the sriracha sauce, that was a perfect blend. Mine might have came out a little more spicier than theirs, but it tastes just like it. Man, it tastes just like Chinese food. That was a really good recipe. That's Perfect. Maybe a little less red pepper flake to get the McDonald's exact taste, but I might leave it right where it's at because I like spice. Alright, let's check out this hot mustard. The classic McDonald's hot mustard. My favorite. I hope I don't get disappointed. Mmm. I think it's perfect. I think it's that brown mustard and that mustard powder. I always remember right when you bite into it, you get a little quick zing right up through your nose. That's what I got here, it's perfect. Perfect spice, it's not too spicy, it's not too mustardy. And this one was the exact hit of the recipe, for sure. Mm-hmm, perfect tang, perfect mustard spice. This was right on. There you go, two of the most famous lost sauces of McDonald's, Chicken McNugget sauces. Right here, you can make them at home. The Szechuan sauce, the original McDonald's hot mustard McNugget sauce. My favorite, I'm gonna be making this all the time. Completely made this video just because I wanted these recipes. I wanted to see if these came out perfect. Always wanna have them on file, now they're here on the channel. Sharing it with you guys. You guys should definitely check it out. Check out our playlist for all the other 
how-to cooking videos. We got DJ how-to videos as well. DJ mixing videos. We got hot mix tape downloads, record downloads, whole bunch of reaction videos. Definitely check out the playlist section. Subscribe to get the daily uploads and our nightly streams. Definitely subscribe to notifications because we do daily uploads and nightly streams of gaming. Thanks once again for tuning in for another Bam Appetites how-to cooking video. Got these sauces down in the books. Thanks for watching all the videos. Channel's been growing pretty well. I appreciate it, guys. Thanks for watching again, and I'll see you on the next video or stream. Later.